church, okay? Well, everyone, glad to have you with us. It is time to close the day, and we are glad you are here. I am uh, in the process of calling up the the live feed for Facebook. If you would be so kind as to like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, and uh, will you get notified of when we are posting content on our YouTube channel, as well as, uh, of course, you'll be invited to join us for um, evening prayer, morning prayer on a regular basis. We are ready then, and I uh, bid you peace and grace. If you have any intercessions you'd like to tender in the live chat, please feel free to do so. And if you have any prayer concerns you'd like to share with us that we can hold up at 9 a.m. tomorrow, put them in the YouTube comments. We'll make sure those get mentioned. All right, it is time for evening prayer. Here we go. Let my prayer be set forth in your sight as incense, the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry, and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways. To the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, Keep us in eternal life. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Please join me in unison for the invitatory. O gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. Our Psalms this evening are 77 and 79. Please join me and offer the verses uh, that are even after I offer the odd verses. I cry aloud to God, aloud to God that God may hear me. In the day of my trouble, trouble I seek the Lord. Lord. In the night, In the night my, my hand is stretched, stretched out, without, out without, wearying. without wearying. My soul my refuses to be comforted. comforted. I think of God and I moan. I meditate and my spirit faints. If you keep my eyelids from closing, I am so, I am so troubled that I cannot speak. I consider the days of old and remember the years of long ago. I commune with my heart, my heart in the night. Search I meditate, my, meditate and, search and search my spirit. My spirit. Will the Lord spurn forever and never again be favorable? Has his steadfast, Has his steadfast love, love ceased forever? Ceased forever? Promises Are his promises, his promises at an end, an end for, all for all time? Has God forgotten to be gracious? Has God in anger shut up God's compassion? And, and I, I say, say it is, it is my grief my hand the that the right hand changed. of the Most High has changed. I will call to mind the deeds of the Lord. I will remember your wonders of old. I will, meditate. I will meditate on all your work and muse on your mighty deeds. Your way, O oh God, is holy. What God is so great as our God? You are the God who works wonders. You have displayed your might among the peoples. With your strong arm, you redeemed your people, the descendants of Jacob and Joseph. When the waters saw, when the waters you, saw, you, saw you, oh God, saw you, they were afraid. when the waters, when the waters saw, saw you, they, they were afraid and deeply troubled. very deep trembled. The clouds poured out water, the skies thundered, your arrows flashed on every side. The clash of your, the crash crash of your thunder, thunder was, was in the lightning. whirlwind, your lightning lit, lit up the world, the earth, trembled. The earth shook, trembled. trembled and shook. shook. Your way was through the sea, your path through the mighty waters. Yet your footprints were unseen. 
who led your people, who led your people, led your people, people like a flock, like a flock by, by the hand, hand of Moses and, and Aaron. Aaron. O oh God, the nations have come into your inheritance. They have defiled your holy temple. They have laid Jerusalem in ruins. They have given the bodies, given the bodies, the bodies of, your of your servants to, to the, the birds of the, of the air for food. food. The flesh, the flesh of your faithful to the, the wild animals, animals of the, of the earth. earth. They have poured out their blood like water all around Jerusalem, and there was no one to bury them. You have become a, become become a taunt, a taunt to, to our neighbors, neighbors by those mocked, mocked and, derided and derided by those, by those around, around us. us. How long, O oh Lord, will you be angry forever? Will your jealous wrath burn like fire? Pour out your anger, Pour out your on, anger the on the nations that, you, that do the not know you, you and on the kingdoms, kingdoms that, that do not call your on your name. name. For they have devoured Jacob and laid waste his habitation. Do not remember, not remember against, against us the iniquities, iniquities of our ancestors. Let your compassion, your compassion come speedily to meet us. We are brought, we are brought very, brought very low. low. Help us, O God of our salvation, for the glory of your name. Deliver us and forgive our sins for your name's sake. Why should the nation, should the why nation, should the nation say, say, where is, where is, their, is God? their God? Let the avenging of, the, the, avenging of the outpoured blood of your servants, servants be, known be known among the nations before, before our, eyes. our eyes. Let the groans of the prisoners come before you. According to your great power, preserve those doomed to die. Return sevenfold, sevenfold the into the of bosom of our neighbors, the, the, taunts, the taunts with which with they taunted you, O Lord. Lord. Then we, your people, the flock of your pastor, will give thanks to you forever. From generation to generation, we will recount your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the Revelation of John. After this, I saw another angel coming down from heaven, having great authority, and the earth was made bright with his splendor. He called out with a mighty voice, Fallen, fallen is Babylon the great. It has become a dwelling place of demons, a haunt of every foul spirit, a haunt of every foul bird, a haunt of every foul and hateful beast. For all the nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication, and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her. And the merchants of the earth have grown rich from the power of her luxury. Then I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, so that you do not take part in her sins, so that you do not share in her plagues. For her sins are heaped high as heaven, and God has remembered her iniquities. Render to her as she herself has rendered, and repay her double for her deeds makes a double draft for her in the cup she has mixed. As she glorified herself and lived luxuriously, so give her a like measure of torment and grief, since in her heart she says, I rule as a queen, I am no widow, and I will never see grief. Therefore, her plagues will come in a single day, pestilence and mourning and famine, and she will be burned with fire, for mighty is the Lord God who judges her. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our first canticle this evening is the Song of Mary. Together. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel for he has remembered his promise of mercy the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from Luke. 
He said also to the one who had invited him, when you give a luncheon or a dinner, do not invite your friends or your brothers or your relatives or rich neighbors in case they may invite you in return and you would be repaid. But when you give a banquet, invite the poor, the crippled, the lame and the blind, and you will be blessed because they cannot repay you for you will be repaid at the resurrection of the righteous. One of the dinner guests on hearing this said to him, blessed is anyone who will eat bread in the kingdom of God. And Jesus said to him, someone gave a great dinner and invited many. At the time for the dinner, he sent his slave to say to those who had been invited, come for everything is ready now. But they all alike began to make excuses. The first said to him, I have bought a piece of land and I must go out and see it. Please accept my regrets. Another said, I bought five yoke of oxen and I'm going to try try them out. Please accept my regrets. Another said, I have just been married, therefore I cannot come. So the slave returned, reported to reported this to his master. Then the owner of the house became angry and said to his slave, go out at once into the streets and lanes of the town and bring in the poor, the crippled, the blind, and the lame. And the slave said, sir, what you ordered has been done and there is still room. Then the master said to the slave, go out into the roads and lanes and compel people to come in so that my house may be filled. For I tell you, none of those who were invited will taste my dinner. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our second canticle, the Song of Simeon, together. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord. And grant us your, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people, Let sing, your people sing, sing with joy. joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. Only in you can, only we, only you can, can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care. And guide us, guide guide us in the way, in the way of, justice of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth. Your saving health, saving saving health, health, health among all, all nations. Let not the needy, O oh Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope, nor the hope, of, the hope of the poor be taken, be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O oh God. And sustain us. And sustain us with your Holy Spirit. Spirit. O oh God, whose blessed Son came into the world, that God might destroy the works of the devil and make us children of God and heirs of eternal life. Grant that, having this hope, we may purify ourselves as he is pure, that when he comes again with power and great glory, we may be made like him in his eternal and glorious kingdom, where he lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Most holy God, the source of all good desires, all right judgments, and all just works, give to us, your servants, that peace which the world cannot give, so that our minds may be fixed on the doing of your will, and that we, being delivered from the fear of all enemies, may live in peace and quietness through the mercies of Christ Jesus, our Savior. Amen. 
O God and creator of all whom the whole heavens adore, let the whole earth also worship you, all nations obey you, all tongues confess and bless you, and men and women everywhere love you and serve you in peace. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. I invite your prayers of intercession and thanksgiving. We pray for Chris as he prepares for surgery tomorrow for his donor, for his surgical team, and all the nurses and caregivers who will be sustaining him through his transplant. Pray for his family and friends who watch over him. And as we all pray for him, pray for Elizabeth, Anne, as they move through seasons of treatment. Prayers for Sabrina and her family as she goes through diagnostic testings and procedures. Amen. Pray for Dan and his family. Pray for John. O oh God, you made us in your own image and redeemed us through Jesus, your son. Look with compassion on the whole human family. Take away the arrogance and hatred which infect our lives. Break down the walls that separate us. Unite us in bonds of love and work through our struggle and confusion to accomplish your purposes on earth. That in your good time, all nations and races may serve you in harmony around your heavenly throne. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please join me in the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray Give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service, and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you, and you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth, and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. To God. Um, Grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. 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 Well, everyone, thank you for joining us for evening prayer. We bid you peace and grace as we all enter off into our places of rest and refreshment. I hope that is true for you as well. Please do like and subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. And of course, if you're watching on Facebook, follow us and you'll get notifications of when we're live. But if you had subscribe to us on YouTube, you get notifications of whenever we're posting content, which is really quite often when you look at it. And all things know that we are honored to have you with you, and we will see you tomorrow morning for 9 a.m. morning prayer. For now, take care and God bless. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.